Summer is a great time to take a walk, and the Portland Trail's Summer Trek program is in full swing. Leslie McVeigh talked with the group's outreach manager, Katie Brown, about tours that can take you to some places you know and to some you've never knew about. Well, Katie, Portland Trails has been through all kinds of uh, transitions this past That's year, right. but it hasn't slowed you down at all. Not no. a beat. No. <laughs> You've got lots of things coming up. We have so many things coming up this summer uh, and this fall too. And this is the really exciting time because, of course, more people are out using the trails uh, than any other time of the year. Uh, that said, it's amazing how many people still use the trails for all kinds of purposes in the wintertime. But yes, we have um, uh, at least half a dozen activities planned for every month. Well, and I think we just missed the, the, the first trail walk right. um, last week. That's but right. you've got some exciting things coming up. One, one in particular, I mm -hmm. think it sounds wonderful, is the Casco Bay Early oh, morning yeah. breakfast cruise. That's right. That's <laughs> Tell right. me a little bit about that one. Sure. So we're talking about the um, uh, summer's discovery treks that Portland Trails puts on, uh, and these are um, scheduled for the second and fourth Fridays of every month uh, through the end of September. And as you mentioned, uh, the first one was actually last month, the end of June. Uh, the next one is July 14th, um, Friday. Normally our discovery tracks are... I think it's the 13th. Uh, the 13th, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not great with dates. Anyway, um, uh, they normally are Friday evenings um, starting at 5.30. This particular cruise one is actually a 5 a.m. Um, <laughs> event. And it's a new one for us. We have several new discovery tracks this summer, but um, this one is the newest of the new. And uh, it will be a two and a half hour cruise of Casco Bay. What time should people be there for this cruise? Well, the, the cruise uh, leaves Casco Bay Ferry uh, Terminal at 5.05 .05 a.m. So we're asking folks to get there at 4.50 a.m. <laughs> uh, and it will be back in at 7.30. Uh, the sun will be rising that morning, I think around 5.25, 5.35 a.m., I, I forget. Uh, but we will be seeing the sunrise uh, while we're out uh, in the bay. Um, and Jim Mem uh, Meminger is the historian who's going to be with us. He's on the board of the Maine Historical Society, uh, and um, he is also a former uh, captain, uh, retired, and uh, even was a captain for the Casco Bay Line some years back. And uh, he's just a wealth of information. So he'll be talking about the history of Casco Bay while we're out there. And we'll also have a marine biologist along with us who will be talking about the wildlife that we'll be seeing so early in the morning. Uh -huh. And so we anticipate seeing, of course, lots of seals, but lots of waterfowl that you don't normally see during the day. Um, and who knows what else. Mm -hmm. it, it, it could be a whole uh, bunch of sea life um, that w right. that you just don't normally see. Now, now some other exciting ones mm. are coming up too. That's not oh, the yeah. only one. Tell That's us right. a, about a few more. Well, um, annually we have also a local historian uh, Herb Adams uh, lead a walk, a history walk, and the last couple of years he's led a very popular one along the Eastern Prom Trail uh, and East End Trail, and he's really talked about the history of the harbor. Um, and uh, this year he's actually going to be leading the walk along the, the new Bayside Trail, the Bayside Trail that, that opened up uh, last year, and he'll be talking some about the history of the Back Cove, East Bayside, Bayside. Uh, and, and all that's happening in that and area. And all that's happening in that area. I mean, there's a whole new garden down mm. there that that's is, right. is nothing but native plants. That's right. And that's all part of this. That's right, that's right. And. Uh, there's a new connector that um, a lot of folks don't know about yet um, that runs um, sort of the end of Franklin Street under uh, the 295 overpass oh. to Back uh, Cove now. Oh. Uh, before that was almost a, a mile stretch before you could get onto Back Cove from the Portland Peninsula. Okay. But now you can go in, in the middle. So we'll take a little jaunt there okay. and look at that um, yardscaping Well, there's, there's really too much. We've got to wrap this up. There's okay. too much to talk about yeah, on one true. visit. You're going to have to come mm. back as we get into Absolutely. the summer sure. um, because it's, it's wonderful what you're doing. You're opening up our city mm. to people from all over, not just the city people, but people visiting here. Well, thank and you. if people want to find out more, they can go to? www.trails.org. 
or to our Facebook page, like our Facebook page, and uh, we post our announcements regularly. Thanks, uh, and I do want to say that the Discovery Trek walks are free to our members. Uh, they're five dollars for anybody else. If somebody actually doesn't have five dollars, we're not going to tell right. them they can't join us. But it would be it would be helpful. Yeah, and that well, five dollars can go towards a membership as well. Well, thank so, you, Katie. Thank you. Can't wait to hear from you again. Okay, great. Thanks, right. Leslie.